Greetings, and welcome back to Phasmophobia. This episode will be to a professional Bleasdale farmhouse. Um, confirmation of a possible ghost sighting here. Excuse me. This one sounds dangerous. Now, I'm not sure if those flavor texts have the same impact as the callouts. If they do, that would mean that it is less likely to uh, manifest because it said possible. And that it is less likely to, uh, or uh, going to be more aggressive because it said, uh, or more active, kind of like an Oni, because it said dangerous. Oh no! Don't load in till I get my 100th. Come here, come, come here, come, come here. Arg! Stuck at 99. Alright. Uh, ghost is going to be more active, more likely to do a ghost event, uh, and it is going to be a stalker. Nancy Brown. Fuse boxes in the attic. Alrighty. So we need a uh, crucifix motion sensor ghost event. We're going to take the EMF reader and a photo camera because this ghost is more likely to manifest on me. So I think that means the flavor text won't have an impact on the callouts because otherwise they cancel each other out. Um, uh, the dangerous part wouldn't, but the possible ghost sighting might. Thought I already heard something. see a bone up here. I'll double check when I have the breaker on. Don't see a Ouija board either. Alright, so that is three lights on. You can have ten in a small house. I believe it's going to be downstairs right below me in like the utility room. Or not utility room, the uh, washing, yeah, the washing machine room is upstairs in this one. I'm getting this confused with uh, Grafton, I think. Can you give us a sign? I might have left that light on just for a trip to the breakers. Yeah, I think you're right below me. But you are a stalker, so you actually could be following me around. This is the utility room in this house. It's 
So, where are you downstairs? Let's see, there's the office. Kitchen. Kitchen or garage? Because I think you're pretty distant from me. Step. Can you give us a sign? This light's already on. This is where you are. One of the easiest rooms to get to. You've been throwing things around. Can you give us a sign? Show yourself. Well, I'm actually going to backtrack to cut out lights. because I do not need these. Four. Not a phantom. Because it did not vanish immediately as I took the picture. Car keys. leave this light on because this gives me uh, an indication as I'm walking toward the house if it has flipped the breaker. Alright, so we've already gotten our ghost event. We've gotten a photo of the ghost. We know where the ghost is. We're at 75. We need a motion sensor and a crucifix. I'm going to leave these here for now so I can take in the video camera and the spirit box and get the darkness portion out of the way. And since it's in that room and I have the key, that's all the entrance I need. I just come in through the side because while I'm walking out here, I am not losing sanity. So this is one of the easiest locations for a ghost other than the entrance way itself. This would be a much this would probably be the easiest ghost in the world if the breaker was in this room. Oh, that blocks too much. Let's put it here. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? How old are you? All right, looks like my uh, microphone is bugged. Two games ago, I had a bug where my footsteps cut out. This game, I have a bug where my microphone is not being recognized. And I know it's not muted, because I double-checked that. So that means we'll have to confirm or deny spirit box through elimination of other evidence. Where are you? Nope. 
All right, not seeing a ghost orb from this angle. I'll put it directly across from here looking back next. Uh, we need to get in a motion sensor and um, the book. <clears throat> and it has cut the breaker off. I'm fine with that. I don't have to spend a lot of time in the room. I'm in the 70s, which means that it would be possible for a demon to hunt me, but a demon should have freezing temperatures by now, honestly. That was the wrong motion sensor. Where are you? Where to put the EMF reader? Oh, I took it back out to the truck, didn't I? Oh, damn it. Missed an opportunity for a possible EMF-5 at that point. Now we are going to need to top off our sanity because now we will be in the 60s. And a mare could hunt us, but again, if it was a mare, the temperatures should be freezing by now. Yeah. We're getting close to where anything could hunt us. Um... I didn't throw the EMF reader into the truck. Brought the wrong motion sensor though, so let's get that and the EMF reader. Go back in and see if we can't <clears throat> um, elicit another response. I'm not going to be getting any activity from calling for a sign, because if it doesn't recognize me on the spirit box, it won't recognize me, period. Probably down to about 85 on sanity. Um, I did not locate what it threw, but it did sound like a ball, and it might have been in this office. As a matter of fact, let me look through the window. Yes, uh, that's what it threw, actually. Um, and I did not get to it fast enough to check the EMF signature, but we do have. Spirit, Revenant, Shade, Demon, Udai, Oni. Oni is what I'm going with right now. Um, EMF 5. Yeah, because we don't have freezing temperatures. Yeah, we're around 85. Uh, let's, it is through something else. Not seeing a ghost orb. One more angle to check. Actually, possibly two more angles to check. Um, hasn't tripped that motion sensor, so I'm going to have to move the motion sensor elsewhere. Let's grab a thermometer and a UV light. I 
think I left my camera right in here. Or did I? No, I never brought a camera, did I? Okay. Well, I'll, I'll bring the camera on the next trip. Right now, I want to see if we have potential for freezing temperatures. Which would be 37 Fahrenheit or below. And I'm not seeing that. Give us a sign. I don't know why I'm bothering. I'm not going to get a response. Because my... Can you give us a sign? Yeah, see, it's not recognizing me at all. And no, I can't trip it by doing that. Just toss something else. Alright, so we have EMF 5. Oh, I did bring something in to check for fingerprints, didn't I? Uh huh. Let's look around. We have fingerprints. Alright, we have identified our ghost. We have book writing, fingerprints, EMF 5. We have a revenant. So now I can bring in a photo camera, which I did have a photo camera because I have a picture of the ghost. And a bone. Where did I leave it? Right there? No, that's the other spirit box. Crucifix is the only other possibility. Um, I'll just throw one in the room just for the heck of it. Now, Revenant is the only ghost that you can never outrun. Ghost interaction, fingerprints, nothing, nothing, nothing. Now, I heard you flick that switch, so I should have gotten another interaction, but oh well. We got a, a variety of um, photos. We've identified our ghost, despite the fact that the uh, spirit box and trying to speak to the ghost was completely ineffective. So there you have it. And probably close to 200. Yep, 205. Welcome back. There's some jobs ready for you. Alrighty. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.